How would you like all the lights in your house controlled by one light switch? That would not only be inconvenient, but a tremendous waste of energy. But that's what you do when you control your heating and cooling system with just one thermostat. A typical home with a hot air system usually has the thermostat centrally located in the downstairs hallway or living room. Here's a partial view of your average single zone arrangement. The thermostat is set to 70 degrees. With the sun located as shown, the living room is warmer than the kitchen by 5 degrees. The thermostat does not respond because it is located in the living room where the temperature is 72, so the kitchen remains at 67. If someone in the kitchen is cold and turns up the thermostat to warm that room, the living room will climb even higher. Zone First has the answer to this problem. The Zone First zoning system allows you to have a thermostat in each living area of your home, keeping you more comfortable and helping to reduce your energy bill by heating and cooling only those areas of your home that you're occupying. Add a thermostat to as many rooms as desired, each controlling a motorized and quiet damper to each room. As each damper opens and closes, hot or cold air is able to enter each room to raise or lower the temperature. When the furnace is off, all dampers are open. When the thermostat in the kitchen calls for heat, the electrical impulses from the thermostat travel down wires to a control panel near the furnace. The controller turns on the blower, then lights the burner. The system then instructs all dampers to close except the one to the kitchen. Hot air flows into the kitchen and the temperature rises until the thermostat is satisfied that the proper temperature has been reached. If the kitchen was at the proper temperature, but the living room too warm, you could turn down the thermostat closing off the damper to that room. Since no hot air could enter the room, the temperature would drop. This would allow the temperature in the living room to be cooler without affecting the other rooms in the house. At night, when the temperature drops, the whole house cools off. You want the bedrooms to be warm, but the rest of the house can be cooler, which allows you to save on your heating bill. Turn the thermostats down in the rooms which are not occupied. Set the thermostats in the bedrooms to each individual's own comfort level. The dampers to all rooms but the bedroom close, and hot air rushes to the bedroom. Furnace, blower, and dampers all respond to their individual settings to maintain the proper temperature in each room. As the weather cycles through its four seasons, keep in mind Zone First's four C's. Comfort solves the problem of some rooms being too warm while other rooms may be too cold. Convenience no longer will you have to go to the hallway or dining room to adjust the temperature for the bedrooms. Conservation. Zoning can save on average 15 to 30 percent by only conditioning the occupied zones. Common sense. You have a light switch for every room. Why not have a thermostat for every zone? <laughs>